Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is Dyson Sphere Program with Stejo. How are you? How am I? I'm alright. I just yeah. I just had a cookie. I've got a brand new fresh cup of coffee. Life's doing yeah. well. I accidentally placed a blueprint. Um, <laughs> now I'm it's trying to decide totally if I should delete it or not. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it makes foundation. Do you want foundation? I like foundation. I do like foundation. We need more yeah. iron though. Yeah, this is and supposed to and be... there's a there's an error here. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Yeah. Much better. Next, next. I told that sight read, sight read, mate. I knew exactly what was going on there. I'm gonna, yeah, we, de I'm we gonna depleted leave. the iron, and I got a trophy. Yeah, I got it too. Apparently, an achievement. Apparently, sorry. I guess achievements might not have been in. Uh, last time you played, yeah. Yeah, because like otherwise, I would obviously have a. Did you like start mining stone here and then forget this deposit existed? Because I noticed really? that it. Uh, it's there was a miner here, but it's not actually mining any. Like it's, there's no belt. Oh no! I think this was when we first started the game. We just chucked the I chucked them down just to uh, to get some stone for our pockets. <clears throat> oh, so it was never that was never an automated thing. Well, I'm gonna full tap it, make foundation. Okay. Um, so tap that uh, ice. Before we get lost and trying to figure out what to do next, I, I was kind of curious. I, I didn't ask you between episodes on purpose because I wanted you to be able to say it whilst we're recording. Oh, great. Uh, Put you, me on uh, the spot. What do you think of the game? It's, uh, you, honestly, so have... we... I'm, I'm going to break the fourth wall. So when we done the first episode, we only done one episode in that session because we had, like, a lot of technical difficulties. Um, And literally after it, I was like, I want to play more of this game. I want to play more of this game. Can we, can we play more of this game? Mm -hmm. um, and then today, I'm like, I don't want to play any more of this game. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm really enjoying <laughs> it. Like, I, I'm, I mean, I'm a massive space nerd. Like, I, I fucking love everything space. And the fact that we're, we're factorial just now, and we're on we're on Earth, and that's cool. Uh, but then we're going to get to go into space. Mm -hmm. It's like playing factorial. It's like Satisfactory so far, right? It's very similar. First person, walk around, build a big factory. This is not says... first person. Sorry. This is the way that you Third view your person. life right now. I'm incredibly yeah, intrigued. No, that's, that's <laughs> how, yeah, that's how I view my life. Yeah, of course. <laughs> is this not normal? Is that not how your life works? What? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I just need iron. Do you have any iron? Any iron? Belt of iron. Any, any, any old iron. We we actually just depleted our, um, our mall iron resource. So I was mm. I was doing a wee shifty for more iron. Um, and there is more there. iron up at the coal, so I might actually just jolly up there and get more yeah. iron. That is so far away. Well, uh, but that's that's the game. We gotta go get the oil. Oh, okay, but, so, but, uh, but, but technology. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say tech. So right, I want to go to space. Is red okay. enough for me to space? Yes. Slow space, nice. not great space. So okay. I'll cue it, but watch out. I mean, this should just get knocked out instantly. What is it? Mecha, is it an upgrade? It's called Mecha Sail. Mecha Sail. Oh, the drive engine. Second, yeah. Got you. Double press space to lift off. Hold arrow keys with space in flight mode, which will activate sail mode at a certain altitude. In sail mode, Mecha will orbit the planet at a higher speed. So we can actually go into orbit and we can slowly Yosh. fly to other planets too. Talk about space. I was actually watching um, Lost in Space, the TV show. It's on Netflix. Yeah, I saw that. Have you watched it? Yeah, the whole thing. That's bloody good. I like the first season more. I like the robot when he was bad. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. I, I don't like it when he became a nice guy. Okay, so we can, uh, we can into space. <gasps> I'm in space! Okay. I was in space for two seconds, and then a thing popped up. Oh, cruise assist! What the fuck? Oh my god! Look at me go! No! Oh my god! I'm like a wee spaceman. Oh I see you. <laughs> Do a battle roll. <laughs> yes. Yes. So you're gonna, it's gonna take some effort to get used to. So you need to use. Um, oh I believe days. it's Q, Q and E, will. Nope. Let me look up the controls. I, I actually need to use the the, arrow keys. It is. Q and R. Maybe I I may have rebound them to Q and R. But yeah, you want to sail fly? <laughs> just, 
just saw your shadow just scoot right over my head. <laughs> That's so out of power. Oh, yeah, no, I'm stranded I, I in to... the ocean. I ran out of power because I wasn't paying attention. No. <laughs> I literally had to land just because of that. That is so much anyway, fun in all my days. So if you try to like walk while in sail mode, you'll crash because you're you're actually turning. A sail mode turn is different. It'll like keep you in yeah, it's an a, orbit. It's like a bank. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then to leave, you just aim up <laughs> <laughs> and burn and uh, be careful that you, you have extra fuel. Uh, I hope I see you again. Don't just <laughs> like go crash into Venus or something. <laughs> Oh no, I'm back on I'm back on the ground. I'm actually at the, the iron deposit that I was gonna Yeah, I'm mine. Re recharging a bit so that I can Yeah, me too, but we need more power. <laughs> need more power. Yeah, we need to get uh hydrogen fuel tank. Hydrogen fuel yeah, cells. So it's should we nice. move on to Wait, we can just burn hydrogen? Yeah, hydrogen's a fuel, but it's oh, not okay. efficient. I'm saying hydrogen fuel cells. We can actually create like Oh, okay. So what I was that's, gonna say is next upgrade. we should work on graphene just now, because that's yeah, another fuel. It, we're still on oil now. Yep, it's mostly oil, and then uh, we need to increase hydrogen production. That's what's okay. stopping us from getting all the red signs. It's hydrogen. Okay. If I think we've already burned through every bit that we had. I'm just queuing up more construction drones for now. Yeah, I seriously underestimated how much power it would take to fly to where I wanted to go. <laughs> where where yeah. did you want to go? Did you want to fly to the moon? No, I just got, I just, I just flew around, ran out of power, and now I'm like stranded, and I'm trying to get back to where uh, <laughs> that iron was. Where are you on the fucking? I ended up at your oil, the oil. Oh, spot. that's not too bad. Fortunately, I found a charging tower. I was gonna say, like, I use charging towers to connect up the oil, so it's not too, too bad. Yeah, that's kind of their purpose, right? While I'm here, is there any, uh, any iron? Any, any, any old iron? I love, I love, love, love that it sorts out, the like, the power lines just on the fly. As opposed Most to like you needing to... Yeah, I know that they're not like physical wires, they're just like little connections, but mm -hmm. it's so much nicer than the bloody factorial power cables everywhere. <laughs> and you don't even need to see that, do you? Yeah, you can just turn them on. Oh no, it does, it's, it's got little... I didn't really even realise it had little blue wires, because I always have the, the power grid detail thing turned on. Oh, you have the first one on? Yeah, I, I don't usually keep that on. That's like the only one that I turn off. I turn off that one in the vein. Uh, the second one to the vein finder, vein distribution. That's what it's called. Okay, so we we do have some red science gen. We can't like go nuts. Let's see if there's any blue and red stuff that would be great for us right now. It would help out a lot. Oh, we can get the first task for our drones. So they can do two tasks at once instead of one. Oh, I grabbed extra drones as well, so... Uh, we could research the very first veins utilization that increases... Uh, makes our miners mine faster and reduces their consumption. So, long-term efficiency. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. It's pretty expensive, though. It's 400 red. These numbers mean nothing to me. 400 is kind of a lot right now. Okay. So I think I, I'm getting this iron hooked up just now. Do we want two belts or just one belt from up here? Uh, one sec. So yeah, hydrogen fuel rods. That that's like the next source of power for us is 400 red science. If you wanted to do that. Okay. I think the most important thing is the veins utilization. There's yeah, so that we yeah, so that we don't need to be. Time. Let's get that going. Okay, we don't uh, need to be fucking around with this. So sorry, what was your question? 
or what was uh, do we want two two belts from up here or I reckon two belts. I reckon there's enough up here to support two belts. There's two like belts one and a half million iron ore here. Oh yeah, sure. Just tapping it one time, like just ensuring one belt every every deposit does does do a lot of longevity, but yeah, I mean, well, there's two deposits up here. Oh, I wanted to ask, did your music change? Because I'm pretty sure know. that a song just came on that has not come on in the last, like, three or four hours. Uh, I don't think it's possible until you can fly. I mean, I like this song. It is a very I'm flying through space song. Yeah, I am Iron Man. I'm Batman. No, I, I, I chucked that on the other day while I was baking a cake. I Iron watched Man? Iron Man, yep. Yeah, I, re I already watched all of them. All three Iron Mans not too long ago because of the hurricane. I was out of power. Out of power huh. on the internet for a while, so. I'll run out of fuel. He says while he's running along right beside a massive coal line. Okay, so I think we should finish our current tasks, regroup, and then go on a trip together. Would you like to go on a stroll on the moon with me? Yes. <laughs> I need to charge. It's a, it's a date. <laughs> <laughs> what was this? Iron I like for? long walks on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> what do you remember? Why I was getting iron? I don't remember what I needed. Iron. Oh, foundation. I was going to automate foundation. Yes, yeah, I need and our, I'm I'm running the iron down, but I've completely run out. Of power, oh, so. we're both getting iron. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, it says nice. there's iron up where the the coal was. So I'm running. A, well, I'm running two lines now from where the coal was. I need to recharge. Apparently having hearty jaunts around space is not the uh, the most efficient for your fuel. Yeah, make sure you top off your uh, fuel chamber and grab like four extra stacks of energetic graphite before we go. Yeah, I've only got uh, I've only got coal at the moment, so it's taking forever for me to recharge myself. I'm going to fly back down to the base to grab energetic graphite. You don't have uh, a whole bunch of the wireless power turrets with you? Yeah, but they're taking forever because we are lacking power currently. Oh, right. The actual base is lacking power. Yes. I have plenty of solar. Do you want me to put some down? Uh, yeah, chuck them down. Have you been just mass crafting solar? I love no, not, so not solar. Uh, wind. Oh, okay. So this game does something that I love that Factorio does and this game also does it so I'm, I'm quite happy about that which is your assemblers don't fill themselves up what do they do so they they only pull in like a certain amount of the resource which means that if I've got a load of resources in my inventory I can just dump them into an assembler yeah okay yeah that's convenient I'm, I'm not going to try to follow... around here. Somehow my, my wind power blueprint that I made off of your thing is not perfect, so... Oh. It's just going to be ugly now, okay? So deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> I love that. I just placed down him? a few of these, uh, no, it was the, the wireless transmitters, I just placed down a few of them, and just the speed at which I recharged was phenomenal. <laughs> Yeah, I like having two blueprints for it. One that's like the full 16, give me all of the power, and then just one that's four of them, just the center part. Right. That one usually, it, it builds faster. And like, it, the problem is if you're completely out of power, you don't Building even have enough power for your robots to build them. Yeah. Like they, they can... Okay, okay I'm, adding, I'm fully adding... charged. I'm fully okay. stuffed in my, my belly. That doesn't seem like enough. Don't leave without me. I want to go. No, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'll come over to you. I've got to... Yeah, I just got to finish this iron ore. So you're... For, I abandoned mine because I could fly now. I came to help. 
Nice. Uh, it would absolutely... Oh, wow, we actually did have enough research for that. Veins utilization. We can actually do... Oh, no, we can only get one. Okay. Uh, plus two meters per second drone, construction drone flight speed would be decent. Take them up sure. to 10. 20%, no, 25% improvement. That or the let them do two jobs at once. I think two jobs at once would probably be better than them being slightly faster. Ooh. I don't remember where this needs to go. Where where did I add foundation? Oh, there it is. Uh, right in the middle of the... Right in the middle of the everything? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm not sure I appreciate your, uh, your non-45 degree angled. Yeah, I don't, I don't belt. obey the laws of belt diagonality. <laughs> Is that not a place in Harry Potter? <laughs> I, I just I just pick two points and it makes a little belt. It's fine. And, and right now we're one Z layer up for no reason at all. Well, <laughs> are we actually? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. wonderful. <laughs> I love it. In the end, it'll get there. Okay. That's that's one of the great things about this game that is uh, is kind of obfuscated at first. You've got an extra dimension to your spaghetti. <laughs> Yeah, it gets, it's even worse than Vector. Okay, so this should mm. just all work. This is a foundation thinger. Yeah, totally, totally made this from scratch in the break. Nothing I, to do with uh, Arumba's blueprints. I have no idea what you're talking about. I just got tired of not having foundation, and you just said you couldn't be... You said I can't be arsed to deal with it or something. And so... It's so boring. Like, it's not like a high-tech thing. It's like, just stuff some concrete. You know, you're making concrete. Mm-hmm. You know that the longer we play, the more and more I'm going to slip. <laughs> like, by the time we start building up the second planet, I'm going to bust out the big bun, the, the big blueprints that, like, go nuts. I'll just do it for you. Right, are we going to... Are we going to... Let me get my fuel. I'm coming. Jeez. I'm going to move. Okay. Uh, do you have stuff? Because yes. there might be... There should hopefully be resources there. I don't know. All right, I need to charge. I'll take, I'll take, the... some, I'll take some extra power, just in case. The other reason that I like to do um, four of these things right next to each other is that visually it's really easy to see this is this is the charging spot. So like, I'm gonna put four here and just leave them here. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what you mean. Calls my attention, you know. Picking up what you're putting down. Neat, okay, how do we... Uh... So yeah, we have cruise assist, which is a mod. Normally you just like go into space and aim and you know, it's easy, but I'm ready. Are you going? Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Off we go. So just like middle mouse, click drag and look up and uh, oh, he's aim fucking it. gone. No! Aim at something else. The moon! I don't want cruise assist though. It's fucking annoying. It's right in the middle of my screen. I uh, I keep, keep mine in the bottom right corner. And uh, so when you initially start it. sailing, when you... Uh, I think you have to c config to allow you to move that one. I'm almost to the moon. Oh, interesting. Cruise Assist might not work well with multiplayer, because I just see that you activated Cruise Assist. Oh, no, it activated automatically for me, because I was pointing at the moon. Got it. Uh, Holy crap, the moon's full of resources. And it's tiny. What time is it? Find the land on the planet with a day-night tidal locking. Good God, there's a lot of stone on this moon. You landed on the moon. One small step for robot kind. One giant leap for robot kind. I fucked that one, didn't I? There's a lot of stone, Jesus, Lord. 75 million stone. Is there anything other? Oh, there is titanium. Okay. Yeah, 4 million titanium. And then also a, a special luxury resource, basically, that's like a cheat product where instead of having to make it the hard way, if you have the cheat product, you can use a more efficient recipe to make something. So optical, optical grading, grading crystal. crystal. Yeah, I see it. So yeah, are you going to land? I thought we were going to go for a walk. I wasn't coming. I'm coming to you. You're hovering. You're wasting yeah, our energy. I was, I was getting here quicker. All right, so how much is this? Is this 70k? Is that the entirety of the optical grading crystals on this planet? So what does this stuff do? No. Uh, this is like a cheaty thing. No, it's not cheat. I mean, it's it's... I describe it that way because it's just how I remember what it is for. So, like, 
Let me see if I can figure it out. What is optical grading crystal used for again? So is this a modded thing, or is this... Nope, it's vanilla. Oh, okay. We might not have the tech yet to actually utilize it. But like, okay, I can give you an example. Um, open up your replicator, go to the items tab. Yes. Go row one, column like seven or eight. Look at graphene. Yes. See the two recipes? Yes. First recipe is the normal recipe. Sulfuric acid plus energetic graphite equals graphene. Yes. But the little salt cube looking thing is uh -huh. an example of one of the cheat ores. Oh, not, not so, ah, uh, okay, so it's just like a, it's a, so, a limited way to get something quicker. Yeah, so it's it's Go two on, of yeah. that thing. I think that's called fire ice. So if you get fire ice, you can also just directly make graphene and you get some bonus hydrogen too. So we're going to usually yeah, do the, fire the ice, top see, recipe yeah. and uh, I don't remember what the optical grading crystal one is going to be for, but yeah, it, it's obviously a resource that we want to tap because okay. it's, it's just it's just good. Yeah, yeah, because it's, well, it's just extra for nothing. Okay, that's cool. So, do you want to keep exploring our solar system, or do you want to just tap the moon? What do you want to do? Want to do I want to go to Uranus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's that go. Let's go. Right. So, how, so how, do I, how do I do this efficiently? Because I felt like I was kind of, I was, you know, just free balling when I was in space. Okay. So... Once you exit sail mode, you're going to be flying like at the default sail speed of like 100-ish. To accelerate, you hold down um, W. Okay. No, you hold oh, down that, Shift. Oh, that puts me into... Shift. Hold oh, Shift okay. to accelerate, and you will burn your power very quick, so be careful. Um, and at, at our current tech, we can only go, I think, 1,000 sail speed at a time. That's, that's, we can only get up to 1,000 meters per second. Okay. You can either just look around the map and then point yourself at the thing you want to go to, or if you want to use cruise assist, um, press tab to unlock your view. You can move your mouse around. Oh, okay, thank you. Right, now I can move cruise assist. Okay, and now you go down and you click star list on the cruise assist tab. Okay. And then you can go to normal. The and normal then change should be to... The and then just Uranus. find the thing you want to go to. Click set. And then... And the enable? It sh it'll be blue if it's active. It'll say cruise yes. assist active. And it will just automatically point you at the thing. It says it cruise assist auto... disabled. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yep. So it won't automatically accelerate you, but it'll point you in the right direction. And then it's up to you if you want to accelerate or not. So okay, I'm gonna, so I'll, I'm doing I'm a do... thousand meters a second. And I can just... That That's me. Okay. So you want the bad news? The bad news is that at a thousand meters per second, it's going to take about 13 real life minutes to get to Uranus. <laughs> it's never taken me that long before. Um, <laughs> let's, go, let's go to Jupiter. Jupiter is closer. Yeah, so Uranus is only 0.32 light years away. You're, where's Jupiter? Jupiter's 5 AU. That's three minutes, yeah. That is very nice. I can't believe how quickly you can just like... I say quickly, what's that been like 50 hours or something? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what we really should be doing actually, instead of just like goofing off and flying around the solar system, is um, using the star map, I think is the thing we want, and then zooming way out and just sort of looking at the planets. There's a tech we got that lets us see the resources on everything in our solar system. Okay. Um, so we we need to decide like what what do we want to tap? You know, do we need? Yeah. To... What did you say? Titanium and silicon that we're we're actually after. Yep. We need titanium ore and silicon ore. So ideally, a planet that has both, so we don't have to do two two outposts. And then we need to bring the right type of power for whatever planet it is. Well, Mercury's got titanium and silicon. And then of Wait, course, can... there's also distance to consider. I can quick. Why does... Yeah, Mercury's closer to obviously Earth than. Coming out to Jupiter. Why is it saying my name is Icarus and not a Roomba when I'm Mine on the Mine does it map? as well. I can see I'm Icarus and you're a Roomba. No. So what I'm... does quick travel do? I actually don't know. That might be a new game feature that oh. I've never experienced. I don't know if I want to touch it. I feel like it's it's going to break multiplayer. Yeah, I'm you're not sure right? if it's like a, ch a cheat thing or if it's a, an autopilot that they added to the base game. It could be. I want to go to Ganymede. 
Let's make Ganymede. It's got silicon and titanium. Okay. It has 70% wind ratio, 5% solar. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, we just have to build bases and get resources. And... Um, I want to land on Jupiter first, and then I'll take off and go to Ganymede. Oh, yeah. It's cool. We're flying. It's a lot easier than Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's funny. I really miss Kerbal Space Program. A good bloody game. You don't need it. You've got this. I don't know. Solar I energy ratio. <laughs> Solar energy ratio on Mercury is 908%. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's problem fucking Ooh. solved. Nice. Uh, Venus has a sulfuric acid ocean. So if you place a water pump on what? Earth, you get water. You just pump it you... out. Yeah. We, we need to go to Venus and it's an infinite supply of sulfuric acid. You just pump it right out of the water. No fucking right about. Oh, Steedro's arriving on Jupiter. See, I'm assuming I can't land on Jupiter. Oh no, manually collecting resources on gas giant. Wait, does that just film a... What? What is it? So we probably it just fills my pockets with hydrogen! <laughs> no, I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> just cutting about, just picking up fucking hydrogen out of the thin air. Get it, it's thin air because it's, it's hydrogen. Uh... Okay, let's 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 go up the way. I'd like to. Where are we going, Ganymede? Oh, I don't know. I uh, I just accidentally almost crashed into Europa as I was approaching Jupiter. <laughs> nice. Uh, what is on Europa? Ganymede! Oh, it's a, an icy planet. Oh, it's a moon. Oh, mate! I just rocketed my face straight into Ganymede. Yeah, that's that's how you land. <laughs> there is, there's no elegance to it. You just crash. That is how... <laughs> yeah, there's a ton of titanium here. <laughs> it's really funny. It's just... I love how small the moons are. Like, that makes me so... Uh, like... I know we were talking about it before, about like the, the different sizes and how vanilla is just all the one size, but it makes me so happy that I'm landing on a moon and you can see the curvature just by it like walking around. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a tiny, hey, did tiny you, uh, Did you ever watch, um, uh, shoot, the show Rick and Morty? Yeah? Yes, but I, I only watched, I think, the first three seasons. Oh, okay. Later in the show, like season five or six, I think it is, or whatever, like two seasons back they are going and trying to find a place to live and they find this planet that's like they can like walk around it it's like six feet tall so it's just like they're <laughs> on a big ball and that's what you just made me think of with the the thing anyway i'm on uh i'm on europa and okay. it's not bad there's titanium i mean i think we should just both set up an outpost real quick if you've got the resources to do it and just we want to get silicon ore and titanium ore in a box and then we need to for, for a very much, hopefully, short time, we have to manually ferry the resources from wherever we want okay. back to our primary place and use those resources to do stuff, but then we can automate it with um, logistics vessels, and they will do okay. the trips for us. We just have to make it worth our time, like a big enough storage that we can bring a bunch. Hope you're carrying power. I... Power, gener power generators, be? I mean. Wind turbine? I'm not sure. I'm placing down my miners just now. Uh, power, I... Yep, I've got five wind turbines. I also have a thermal power plant. Five wind turbines. Yes. Mm. Might be uh, might be out soon. That's not much. I thought, oh, that's not the button I want to push. Um... Okay, let's see what... Ganymede, let's see. How is the wind on Ganymede? 70%. Uh, solar is 5%, so probably not the best to try and solar power myself. 
Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to wind turbine this biz. Uh, keep in mind, there's solar, there's wind, and then if there's any source of fuel, you can just use thermal reactors. So, like, you can burn coal, coal to generate power, and, or you can even, yeah. if there's oil, you can just... There is a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of coal and zero oil. Yeah, so I, I mean, if the if it's, you don't have a lot of so, of wind power generators on your, oh, on your five. character suit. Uh, <laughs> that's not very many. Not enough for me. No, no wrong. Well, what do I need? I only need like a couple of miners. Mhm. Mm I guess you don't need that much, really, but. This is a song I've never heard before. This is, sounds new. Cool music on uh, Europa. Right, let's... If I'm not mistaken, um, we probably want to do the smelting locally, because... Uh... Words. How do you say words, DJ? Uh, you move your mouth and just let whatever you're saying, let your belly rumble. My dad used to say the... that. I always we probably need to do the smelting locally because the stack size. I think there's a difference in the stack size. Like it's, I think only 50 raw, or like a hundred of the plate. So if we're trying to ferry stuff back and forth, it's way better to come and pick up a stack of the ore. Sorry, a stack of the plate. I can right, see words. Right. Words are hard, okay? What do you want from me? Words are indeed difficult, especially in our language. We have one of the worst languages for wording. All right, there we go. That's that. Now let's get... What are you? Okay, you're you're a rock crystal. Nice, because that's how that's how rock grows in crystalline form. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> that'll probably trigger people, but that'll do. Uh, that'll do, donkey. Weird. Power lines don't connect. I tried doing a, a six smelter setup and they the power lines aren't like able to reach across it the whole thing, which is oh, that's weird. odd. They could on the previous planet must be a size of the planet issue or something. What is the button to Hoover resources? To Hoover? Uh, control. Oh, I'm in construction mode. Oh no. Uh, no. When you drop something on the ground and it's like. Push this oh, you gotta click the little button above your taskbar to... The Z, okay. Okay, I need, uh, we need to spend some red science on titanium smelting. So that I can actually put the recipe in here and we can use this. Oh, because you need to smelt the titanium. Got you. Mm-hmm. Okay, that'll do it. Two titanium every two seconds. It's 30 crafts a minute. I don't remember, I think titanium is uh, double length. I think you need 12 smelters. Well, that's titanium smelting done. Do I have any smelteries? I... Wait, no, that's not that storage studio. I do, nice. Okay, so we need 60 titanium per minute times 6, that's 360. Yeah, okay, so... Okay. We officially have some titanium production. Okay, Where, so we which need... one are you tapping over there? Uh, titanium and silicon. Oh, you're gonna get them both too? Okay, cool. Yes. 
They they were both right beside each other. Convenient. I, well, I, mean, I think the, the, the next planet's thing... tiny, so everything's right beside each other. To be fair. It's not planets, DJ, it's the moon. Okay, okay, comment section, I understand. <laughs> Why? Why are you colliding with another object? Why? Fucking, I'm gonna fucking end this man's life. I guess if you're going to tap silicon, this one only has 4 million on it, and I'm just going to not do that. I don't know how much this planet's got on it. Uh, this one's only got 4 million too. Hmm. Well, I'm going to take as much titanium as I can back home. Uh, titanium, okay. funny i can hear you doing that even though you're on a different planet <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious well game wasn't designed for multiplayer right no uh, right all right so yeah the next thing that i'm gonna i, I mean we really would benefit from tapping is that sulfuric acid on venus so i'm gonna go and uh do that uh the just the the actual ocean. Yeah, I just want an ocean of sulfuric acid. Just I just want it. Sounds great. Right now, let's get extractors. I'm accidentally flying right through. Oh, I am very. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm not generating enough power. <laughs> oh God! Please don't tell me I'm stuck in Jupiter. <laughs> what have you done? I think I'm stuck on Jupiter. I have fuel. I'm on like the dark side of Jupiter, so I didn't really see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I can actually gain power. I should be able to eventually break out of this, but yeah, I'm I'm stuck in Jupiter's orbit. It what fuel have you? Me. What fuel have you got? Uh, the energetic graphite. Oh, and it's just not enough. Well, I I, I had just left uh, Europa and was trying to burn to get up to speed, and then I crashed into a, a really dark Jupiter that. Ah, uh, okay. Got my speed to zero, and I had no energy in reserve, so. Wait, so why is this? Have I... Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Okay. I placed the input thingy on my output thingy. Yes. Yes. We don't have enough uh, storage. Enough uh, not enough storage, enough power. But you know, that's fine. That's fine. Are you immersed? Do you feel like you're? Yeah, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Going between stars yourself. No. No? Aww. No. I mean, I haven't really done anything. I've, I've just landed on this moon and now I'm mining stuff. Uh, I've got titanium getting made, but I don't have enough power. And I feel like I should probably head back to Earth and get some power. Okay. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm like halfway. I think we can see each other if we look at the star map. Right? Like I can... 
Don't get stuck on Jupiter. Trust me, it was not good. How many... Man, there are so many moons around Jupiter. Yes. <laughs> Jupiter has many moons. What's Callisto got? A little bit of everything. Io. Io has operating grading... Optical grading crystals as well. There we go. I'm six AUs away from Earth. Titan has fire ice. Do you know how long an AU is? An astronomical unit? Isn't that the distance from the sun to the Earth? Or yeah, sun yeah. to the edge of the solar system or something? No, sun to the Earth. Yeah, that's really arrogant of us, I think. Well, I mean, we need sense. a frame of reference, so... <laughs> I recall there being a way to see what resources are in an entire area. Ah, it requires Universe Exploration 3 to be able to identify what's an entire star, not just in an... A single planet. So what technology do we want to get next? Because I'm, I'm assuming we'll have some technology on Earth. We want hi hydrogen um, fuel rods? Yeah, that would be helpful for us trying to move back and forth between places right now. Because we could we could so convert the energy quicker. What's heading what's heading us to spaceship transportation systems? Mm, where are you looking? Is that a upgrade or a oh no I'm, I'm I, I just made it up I have no idea what the technology is called but I want I want to transport oh, resources oh. from one to another like what's yeah okay uh, so that's the top queue go to the very top of the okay thing and it's we need to do high efficiency logistics so we get the next tier belt then we need planetary logistics which is flying they're called logistics drones they are on a single planet they can't leave and then the next one after that is interstellar, interstellar. logistics oh geez so we're quite quite a wee bit away. yeah. We need maglev we need, tech. We need yellow, yellow, a very tiny bit of yellow science before we can actually have interstellar vessels. Okay, so let's get hydrogen fuel then. Still, still yeah. going to the Earth. Most, we uh, we do want to start making um, deuterium so we can make deuteron fuel rods. Um, okay. I don't understand why it's deuteron and not deuterium fuel rods because it's called deuterium, but it's Deuteron, so don't correct me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we need to make a deuterium fractionator so we can just basically collide hydrogen with itself or some bullshit, and then you get 1% of it turning into deuterium. Okay. So and, we'll uh, need to get deuterium fractionalization then. Or yeah, fractionation. Then we, okay. Yep. And then we start running our, our hydrogen through it just endlessly in a loop to start to collect. It's kind of like uranium in Factorio, you know? Trying yes. To get the, uh, yeah. The 238? Yeah, the ice dopes. I'm flying back to Earth. So oh, I'm assuming we can we... increase our sales speed with something. We, uh, I just enqueued uh, inventory capacity, plus one lines of inventory. We okay. need that because we're functionally the logistics vessels right now. Yes. Being able to carry more crap is pretty so good. Why... You queued it and then it got unqueued. Oh, did I accidentally click it? I don't know. I've, I've requeued it. Oh, so nice I'll idea. I'll put that ahead of deuterium fractionation. Okay. There we go. I'll put deuterium fractionation behind inventory capacity. Yeah, it's uh. It's going to take us a while to fly back and forth. It's not quick. Yeah. I am on Venus, and I just fell in acid. Nice. Oh, we need find yellow in, in order to get the sail speed up. Find and land on a planet rotating on a horizontal axis. Oh, so it's flipping head over planet, heels. And find and land on a planet rotating on a reverse axis. So it's reversed and horizontal. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's got some... Got some issues. Just double. No, oh, I'm rocking okay. back to Earth. Venus oh my has, god. Ooh, Venus has nine million silicon ore. And Venus is way closer to Earth, right? Than where we just were. Uh my very yeah, uh, Venus is the next one. Excellent solar energy ratio here as well. Not as good as Mercury, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there's no copper. I think you need copper to make solar panels directly. I was thinking about setting up a solar panel construction. Yeah. 
Copper uh, Venus plus is the one with the ocean. Silicon plus circuit boards. So you need iron, copper, and silicon to make solar panels. Well, my goal is to just get sulfuric acid. Okay. I just came back here to get like a stack of wind turbines. Uh, right, I've got wind turbines. Um, we'll grab a stack of assembly machines too. I think I've got a stack of storage, I do. Um, yeah, that's annoying. The only thing that I didn't really have a great deal of was wind turbines. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I ever I mentioned you make sure to break power. <laughs> I made that mistake a lot of times. Yeah. Not just power for yourself, but like power to power the planet. The planet, yeah. Later, yeah. So where are you? You're on Venus. Yeah. Solar is way better, but I, I don't have any. And I, well, actually, I might be able to make a couple. Make four. But I'm pretty sure solar is not all day. Oh, I've not got any fuel. So even though it's less efficient, I'll just use wind. It's guaranteed to keep the thing running nonstop, which makes more sense to me. Coming to Venus, but I'm doing half the speed I should be because I, I ran out of fuel. <laughs> Not fuel. I ran out of energy in my in my belly. I've got fuel. It's burning it just slowly. Slowly but surely speed myself up so I can get up to you. Yeah, that's pretty normal to like only be able to get up to 700 and then you just gotta kind of go slowly. Okay, power load 100%, satisfaction 100%. We got four water pumps, each making 55 sulfuric acid a minute. Except that it's not coming out of the thing. What? What would happen if I? Well, I guess you you passively generate little amount little bits of fuel. Hey, there's a lot of trophies. Oh, are you here? I hear somebody. Hey, land on. Yeah, I'm right beside you. I I came here expecting like some insane setup already placed here, and it's like there's a pump and some fucking tanks, well, and the pump's not even mm -hmm. doing anything. For some reason, I can't get the sulfuric acid to come out. I'm not sure why. I mean, it is building sulfuric acid, or did you just manually do that? Ah, okay. So it's it's got like kind of a wonky hitbox. When you're trying to connect, you can't just like click where it looks like it should come out. You can try it if on one of those if you want. Don't click like near where it is. It's not like with a mining machine where it automatically selects the entity. You got to put the mouse like where the sulfuric acid icon is so that it selects the building and then you can make the connection. Yeah, so like... You, oh yeah, that didn't work. Oh. Oh, that one's not powered. That's why. Oh, okay. But... Yeah, it still didn't did work. You... Oh, interesting. Yeah, so you got to delete it again and then... It works for me now if I put oh, the mouse. Oh right, you need to make the the mouse the building actually highlighted in grey. Yeah, so that's oh, kind of weird. That's but... yeah. So we got sulfuric acid to play with. Nice, without that's having neat. to do any sort of fuckery. Yeah. To get four sulfuric acid is four water, eight stone, and six refined oil. So that's so much less of a burden for the oil like setup. Yeah. Uh, how much? And we can take uh, energetic access. graphite plus sulfuric acid equals graphene. 
So main thing we need to do is uh, make sure we have a shit ton of red signs. So we need hydrogen. Lots of hydrogen. And I don't think we have the tech for it yet to build... Um, I need to find it again. There's like a technology where we can place orbital collectors on gas giants. Oh, right. Yeah, I, um, I think you, said, you spoke about that. I don't know where it is. Uh, not geothermal extraction. Uh, planetary ionosphere utilization? Radio receiver can zoom gravitron lens to increase. No, I don't fucking think so. Oh, gas giant exploitation. Okay, it's high strength titanium. It's along the titanium line. That's yellow signs. So. Oh, yeah, that's pretty far off. Yeah. Okay, so we're not going to get hydrogen from that. What else can we do to make hydrogen and mass? Let's find hydrogen. I feel like I should be able to find hydrogen in the items thing, but no, you can't make hydrogen. What is my, is he dancing? My guy just danced. <laughs> Under catalyst of hydrogen, x-rays can crack the refined oil into more hydrogen than a byproduct, energetic graphene. So we can crack oil straight in energetic graphene and hydrogen using hydrogen. But it gives us a 1.5 on the... It gives us an extra 50% hydrogen, so it's a 2 to 3. I'll just fucking queue it. <laughs> I think that for now, until we get the ability to... I don't know, I know... I need a piece of hydrogen to see all the different ways you can make hydrogen. And I don't have I've any hydrogen. hydrogen on me. You do? You check it on the floor? I just need to see the recipes to remind myself how this works, but I think we actually just need to go crazy with oil for a while. It's like our only available way to make hydrogen. Yeah, there's the, the hydrogen plus oil equals graphene plus hydrogen. Yeah, we've got oil into hydrogen, we've got fire ice into hydrogen, and we've got the hydrogen plus refined oil equals more hydrogen. Yeah, so we need to get to the point of that third row one. Or we just need to do a lot of oil refining for right now. So I guess we go back to Earth and we uh, make a bunch of oil. Earth. Hey, I'm going to go Ganymede and get the all that stuff set up, like with the extra... Um, What's it called? The extra wind turbines. So that's sitting mining while we're fucking about. And then... I can head back to Earth and... We can max out oil. Yeah, and there's no coal here, so... Do you think I should set up a quick uh, silicon mining deposit here, just because it's a lot closer to Earth? Uh, yes, probably. It'd make a lot more sense to set up Silicon and uh, silicon and titanium on uh, Mercury. So and obviously you're on Venus. No, no, no. It makes sense on Venus because it's Venus is even closer. But obviously Mercury is planet space whale excrement. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> what? I clicked on. Oh, beside beside Mercury, there's a planet space whale ex excrement. What? Excrement. Planet space whale excrement. Yes. I hear you. You're saying the word excrement. Do you, are you? Do you mean to be saying excrement? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm flying. I'm flying to the space whale shit. How am I going? It's a Mercury. A Mercury moon. A moon of Mercury. It's space whale poop. Wait, is that a real like a real thing? I don't know. I, I shit don't you know. not. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know if there are uh, space whales. No, I don't think that space moons. whales really exist. I don't know. I don't know about the moons of like Mercury and Venus. That's not something I have. I definitely don't think that they're made out of space whale poop. I'm going. I've got forty seconds before I reach the 
Space whale shit. I just wanted to click on Mercury. And I've, I've been given a gift. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's a lot of... Oh, is that you placing down a blueprint? Yeah. yeah I'm just getting some mining going here on uh, the silicon. Oh, okay. I just... I don't, I don't know what happened to me. Did you die? No. Isn't it remarkable that we've been playing for like five hours and the game hasn't crashed once? Like, yeah. remember how like buggy Factorio multi multiplayer was when it first came out? Yeah. I swear. This oh is my like the god, most there's not enough, there's not enough gravity for me to like land on the space wheel poop. Oh, you're forced to stay orbiting or in sail mode or something? No, I can't even orbit the thing. Oh my god, it's tiny. It's like just bigger than me. Do you think it's like actual poop that like astronauts like shot at the planet or something like i don't know i doubt that i think it's I don't... I don't, it's so strange like i wish i could orbit the thing so that i could okay i'm doing zero miles an hour okay let's i'm gonna yeah, point some direct. some uh entities you can't actually interact with like dyson spheres themselves you can't walk on them you actually clip right through them um so maybe it's you're just clipping through that object yeah it, it like tries to land but just doesn't work yeah i'm like right beside it and i can't i can't land on it Dude, my fucking day is immeasurably ruined <laughs> the fuck <laughs> <laughs> wasted all my fuel getting here all my all my personal power you didn't, you didn't waste it you 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 learned oh yeah i guess I'll, I'll land on mercury just so i can see i have I love the little run he does after he lands. He's like, oh, dip, 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 dip. Yeah, Mercury's a lot less liquid than I would have expected. Solar, yep, solar energy ratio 908%. So you're telling me we should bring some solar power to Mercury? Oh, I crap like 23 of them. Okay. Yeah, I got silicon because of this planet I just set up. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna mine some. I mean, what else is the there? Is there any reason for us to go nuts on Mercury aside from solar? Because we can't really like transfer uh, silicone, power yet. There's silicon and um, there's titanium. I'm going to be triggering so many people because I keep saying silicone instead of silicon. Well, that's fine because there's an e at the end. Yeah. Well, no, not in silicon. There's no e at the end of silicon. Silicon and silicone oh. are different things. Oh. Yeah, silicon is uh, an element, and silicone is four titties. See, I thought they were the same. Uh, there is a there is actually a distinction there. Oh yeah, Mercury's got a little bit of everything. Not much, like barely any iron. But enough to get, like, that'd be a great planet to just build solar. We could have a little, sol a little solar facility. And then, um, it'll obviously power itself with 900% solar energy. So is there, is there a way to beam energy off planet? Is There's that multiple thing? ways. Yep, oh, okay. multiple ways. So we're going to get, just like in Factorio, you get uh, accumulators, right? Yes. And not only is an accumulator a building, sorry, not a, it's not only a yeah a building that you place that stores energy, but it's also a, just a battery. You can actually run your mech off of an accumulator, just put it into your energy core. Okay. So um, a, a single then... solar panel on this planet gets 3.26 megawatts of power. <laughs> That's so much. That's more than a thermal geothermal power or geo, a thermal power plant by like 50% more. Um, so yeah, we can use accumulators and then there's a, a, a building, I think it's called like a ray receiver or... No, that's not the ray receiver. It's a... Uh... It basically can open and it can... It can empty accumulators into the power grid or it can fill accumulators 
with the power grid. So on the power planet, you would have that building filling them, and then you can ship that back using logistics vessels and open them on any other planet. That's one way. Another way is, uh, I think you can just turn energy into these little, what are they called? They're like the little white spark looking things. But that's photons. You can collect photons from your Dyson sphere. That's a different mechanic. Anyway, long story short, yes, you can export okay. power. I was going to say, I, I'd assume that you'd be able to export power considering the entire point is to make Purpose, a Dyson sphere. Yeah. Yep. Of course, the Dyson sphere does it with different mechanics. So Laser beams. Yeah, I uh, I like, in the early game, I, I do like using an accumulator-based power system because you set it up and then later on when you have logistics vessels, you can just request full accumulators and you'll just have power anywhere. It's not the same as the Dyson Sphere, but it it's portable and obviously some planets are better than others for generating power. Yeah. So you gave up on the moon of uh, Mercury? Uh, well, I just thought since I was landing here, I was like, I might as well set up something here as well. You know? Yeah, I don't see that orbital body that you mentioned. The, the poop. poop. No, I just see Mercury and you. Is it gone? Uh, I don't know. Oh, right. That's how you do it. I, okay. If you um, if you go to the star map, instead of clicking on like Mars or Earth, click on Sol. Go to the star then that map. Will tell you. And click on Sol. Oh, that tells, that tells us everything? you everything for the whole system. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there is fire cool. ice here. Yeah, it was out by, uh, I think it was one of the moons of Jupiter, or it was a moon of Uranus, one of the two. So we got our <laughs> sulfuric acid ocean. Hey, Rumba, I'm going to upset you. No, I don't want to. <laughs> you think I, I, I see it flashy, flashy. I know, I know. <laughs> Looks like the only crude oil is on uh, Earth, 49 per second, that's all we got. Oh, well, the Americans would be upset. Yeah. All right, well, I think this one was me, yeah? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll be back same time, same place tomorrow. See you soon. Bye-bye.